Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. It's episode 13, and I have, in episode 12, been building quite a few new lines, which are yet to come to fruition. Exceptionally, or especially, for example, this line. Um, the Novosibirsk to Jeddah line has a capacity of 57, but is only being used by 15. This has to do with the fact that both Jeddah, Beijing, uh, Changsha, all of these towns are either not yet connected or not really big enough. So what I want to do in this episode is connect more towns to Jeddah. I still want to connect Quezon City and Changsha. And between those two, I hope that Jeddah is going to grow into a bit of a hub. I might set up connection from Changsha to Beijing and Quezon City as well. So a line like this. But ideally, I want to have uh, a very large train station over here in Jeddah. Or rather, have the town develop around the train station. Anyway, the next stop is going to be Changsha. 143 occupants or residents, not a whole lot. And Quezon City is even smaller at 86. There are two train tracks. Uh, I'm currently using both terminals 3 and 4. So terminals 1 and 2 are going to be the ones that actually go this way and that way. So for the first bit, I could just have them both go here, sharing the track, and then one splits off and the other splits off. So let's start building. We're going to go here. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. And here. Before I forget it, I'll set up a crossing. And I want to go to about this crossroads here. Let's not make that too expensive game, if you don't mind. Now we're rapidly approaching the era where we're going to get a lot more vehicles. It's 1943 currently. And I am expecting quite a few new, more powerful trains around the 1950s or 60s. Which should make the training experience even more interesting. All right, now I want to have a turn go this way. That's not too bad, actually. I'm losing out on a bit of speed while making that turn, but it doesn't seem to be too drastic. I'm dropping to 233, which I think is a speed which very few trains are even going to get to in the first place. And over here, let's see if I can make it a... Fairly gentle turn. Not with that road in the way. Yeah, here. 275. And that started here. And this one's going to line right up with it. Alright. Changsha first. Um, if I want to go to Beijing and or to Quezon City, I will have to build the train station like this. Because that will be easiest to align with the rest of the terrain. So it would be like this. I think I only need three tracks. Tracks. Doing a very solid 300 there until we approach the train station when we're going to be, well, at this point using uh, brake parachutes. Seeing how fast that train is probably coming in. Oh, I hope I can connect this in a not too ugly fashion. Mm, yeah, that sort of works out. All right, signaling. I want you to wait there. Wait here. Right there. Uh, and then just on either side here. Either side there. Come on. And either side there. Okay, so that goes to Changsha. Uh, the next thing is going to go the other way. To Quezon City. Quezon City will also probably be connected to Tainan. Because it's, well, sort of the closest connection. So this one's going to be perpendicular to Quezon in a direction like that. And that means that I have to set it up either here or there. 
This is going to be slightly more difficult to tie into the rest of the town. This one will be easier. Let's do it here. Three tracks for now should give me the flexibility that I might need later. Douglas DC4 is now available. All right. Let's go for the uh, outermost track. Good speed all the way into that train station. All right, signaling, wait here. Signals there and there and there. Hold up, are you on the right side of the tracks? No, you're not. Here and here and the rest is already aligned. All right, next up, set up the lines. We're starting here in Jeddah and we're going over here to Changsha. Uh, Jetta Changsha. How is that aligned? Yep, you're using the right tracks. Good man. Next up, here to there. So this is Jetta to uh, Quezon City. Confirm. Yep. And there. Yep. Okay. Um, where do I set up my train depot? Where do I set up my train depot? I think just along here. Just like that. Tracks. And I could make this a double slip. Just to make it easy to have that connected. There. Okay, so now the train depot can supply both these lines with trains. What I do not yet have is a connection from this train station to the rest of the town. Buildings. It is quite outside of the area. And since it's a pretty small town, I think one or two bus stops might suffice. Let's do two there. And one there. Bus tram. Set up the roads. Upgrade the tram tracks. There, there, there. And there, I think. And here. And then upgrade this. Yes to electric. Upgrade that. Changsha tram. Starts here, goes there, goes there, and goes back. And it does take a bit of a scenic route here. For some reason or another. Not exactly sure why, but there is no tram track on that particular area. And now there is. Alright, something I haven't done quite a bit, uh, which I'm going to do now, is set up a depot right next to the tram station. Like that. Orient it, line it up, click. All right. Let's just go with the wit. No, I don't want to sell it. I want it to go on the uh, Changsha tra Hold up. It's not upgraded. No, it is upgraded. Why is the Changsha tram... Ah. It wasn't named. Changsha tram. Off you go. Next one, Quezon City. Uh, this... How am I going to set this up? Because it's pretty wide and pretty broad at this point. Well, it seems like one tram station can cover everything. That should be enough then. And then set up a bus slash tram station... Are you going to be like this game? There. You know what? I'll just go with a bigger building here. Not necessarily because it's... Uh, because it has to, but because I think it looks better. And it is also generally easier to connect to. Uh, large main building. 
with a couple of side buildings. All right, there is a large uh, area where I can connect to. Yes. Okay, build the roads. Um, and I want a side access there and set up the tram station right next to it. The tram depot, that is. Okay. Easy connection. Start here, go there. Done. This is Quezon City Tram. Get the tram. Just one wit until I know exactly how much demand there is going to be. And now the trains. Oh, Quezon City Tram cannot get to where it wants to go. What part did I forget to upgrade? Here. Now it's perfectly happy. All right then, time to set up the trains. The trains are gonna start from that depot. Uh, it's 196 and 91. Oh, the Vosibirsk Jetta's starting up. Okay, train. The Bristol Freighter, what an ugly aircraft that is. Sheesh. 115 for the Russian class S. Yeah, I'll go for the Russian class S. Couple of passengers on it. Uh, 57 capacity might just be enough, at least early stage. I want you to duplicate that. I want this one to go on the uh, Jed uh, Changsha line. And I want this to go on the Jiangsha Quezon City line. Off you go. My good trains, off you go. Now, this should also start to increase demand for the trams because currently they were just using it to get from one side of the town to the next. But now they should also start using it to get from Changsha and Quezon City to the rest of the world. And Jeddah is the hub. Now this train is no longer sufficient at all. 57 to go to Jed, uh, sorry, to go to Novosibirsk. There's 143 people waiting there though. Uh, before you start unloading, offloading. These trains can do a lot more speed than the engine currently can. Let's give me one more passenger car. There. Done. Oh, that doesn't even fit? Really? Are you that big? Okay. Um, right, this little section of track here is in the way. Configure. I do want that train to be able to load quickly. Tracks. High speed track with catenary. Uh, train tracks. Oh, it won't fit. No, it won't fit. All right. One more section. Whoa. Sorry about that. You didn't see that. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You're good. Except that it cannot go the other way. Anymore. Now it can. Okay, so how many people do you have on? 133. Nice. Now, I set up the previous episode, the line to Novosibirsk. There's 146 people waiting. I think it might have just left. Yeah. So there's a lot more people who want to go from Novosibirsk to Quangzhou than the other way around. I guess they might be interested in hooking up to the rest of the transport network. I'm going to duplicate this line. Because then the frequency is going to go up. And I won't need to expand this train station too much. 
We're still bringing in construction materials. Okay, that's working all right. We have our first five people on board to Jeddah. I think I might need to duplicate this at least once. And I wouldn't be surprised if I need to do that here too. Well, it's not too bad. Quezon City is not that big yet. Okay, how about Beijing though? Beijing only has one tram and it's not even full. Okay, in that case, I don't need to upgrade anything. Ah, the Russian class L. A KTM-1 and a couple of trucks. Here's the Beijing tram. And our passengers are patiently waiting here. Click. Okay. Demand to go to Beijing, sorry, to Jeddah is not great. Where's the train? Here's the train. There's only three people waiting to go the other way. No, 27. It's not bad. I'm not sure if it's going to be running profitable yet. But it's not bad. There's another 27 waiting to go the other way. I have my four trams running around Jeddah. So that should be enough for the moment. Seven people are waiting to go to Quezon City. That's not a lot. Uh, increasing demand here should be fairly easy if I start providing a connection to Ankara. And speaking of Ankara, Ankara needs food. And that is easy to provide. Food processing plant, farm. Well, it has plenty of farms around it. Uh, so, set up a train line here. That also ties into the town with a cargo network. This is going to be a little bit of work. I need a passenger station that has, let's say, two connections at least. One, two, three to Shenyang. So let's go for three train tracks. Uh, make that a big one. There. Configure. I want another track here. And then I want another cargo platform because we're going to be dropping off uh, food here. And who knows what else, but food first. Remove this building, remove that building. Passenger buildings, a large main building. A couple of side buildings just for show. Okay. Um, track laying. My specialty. Oh, wait. I have one line that's going here. I have one line that's going here. So for the moment, up until about here, let's say there, I need two tracks, which are just heading that way. Tracks. Here we go. Go straight. Go straight and go... Why are you not snapping? All right, you know what? Just try and get these things closer together. Uh, I might need to extend this a bit more, otherwise I cannot fit in those extra connections. This one, come on, come here. To be a double slip here, and this one to be a double slip here. If I'm not mistaken, everything is now working. Because now trains can go from here and get to any of the platforms. So maybe that wasn't as uh, painful as I expected. All right, I will need uh, something that transports food, or rather grain, from here to there, and then from there back. Unfortunately, I cannot do that on the same train. That is, well, not great. Uh, I might need to do this with a truck. Just a truck from here to there, and then food from there back. Or I just go for food with trucks on everything, instead of using trains. 
Hmm. It is going to be important to dictate where and how I built these tracks. No, I am going to do it with the train station. The reason for the train station is that this is currently the only big town that I know of that wants food, Ankara. But Quezon City might at some point also desire food, and this one already wants food, hangs out. So yes, I can use these tracks for something else as well. Uh, that means that this is going to be an important area. Let's set up a road. It can just be a country road. No and no. Ah, come on. Okay, that's still connected. Now I can set up my train station here. Let's go for cargo station with two stops. Spin that around. Click. Okay, so those also need to be tied in here. Tracks. Make sure I don't lose out on too much speed, although, in all fairness, I won't exactly have a train, a cargo train that's capable of doing 300. I don't imagine having any of those things. Okay, connect please. There. Uh, that stops there for the moment. Then we have our main connection going here. And this is gonna... Oh, it's not gonna protest. I thought it was gonna fight me there with the road in the middle. But it's fine. This one's gonna go on to Quezon City. And the train station is over here. Uh-oh, they're already building around it. Quick, get an egress. I'm sorry about your building, but you should have expected that at some point I was going to tear it down. You knew the risks and you willingly accepted them. Don't place any blame on me. Tie that in. Nope, too much slope. What? Where do you see the slope? I don't see any slope. I know that I'm slowing down to 195, but I think that that should be enough. Nope, misclick. Connect and bring them together. Can I do that with a bit more speed? No, it looks like 66 is what it's going to be slowing down to in that corner anyway. All right, stop it there. Connect these two together. Uh, set them up here and here. All right, that should do. Starting in Ankara, going to Quezon City. All right. So that works, the double slip works. Perfect. Ankara, Ankara to Quezon City. I do have a train depot that's, well, that might be able to surface it, but not in its current configuration. Because there is no track going there. Okay, now there is. So now I can set up a train from this depot to go to Quezon City and then to Ankara. Now I still need to set up everything here. Um, this needs a uh, passenger platform. So a bus tram station. And I'm going to tie that into the main road. Yes, electric. Should go there. I also want a couple of cargo platforms. I 
And then the passenger platform's here. And then uh, the road connection. Yeah, let's say there. And there. And there. There's going to be another bit of a learning experience for me because I usually don't build them out this extensively. And from here we can go into town. Okay, where do we set up the stations? Where do I want my bus stops? Where are the residential areas? This is commercial slash industrial and this is residential. Oh great. Uh, that's gonna suck. I might need to set up another big station over here. Another one of those joint items. Yeah, let's do that. Configure. Uh, make it bigger first. Then set up a street access over there. Build up that road. Yes to electric. Couple new train. Ooh, a train that can do 120. Interesting. I might need to use that. Okay, upgrade first. Stick to Ankara. We're going here, here, here. Uh, here, I'll take a little bit of an outside turn there. And then there. And this one's going to go through the residential area. Um, through here and then there. Okay, so this one goes there. And here. This one stops here. And here. Alright, you start here, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go back, and you go here. And it's making a really weird turn while doing it. That's... <laughs> that's a bit of fancy driving. Okay, well, as long as it works, I'm fine with it. Uh, Ankara City... No, Ankara... Uh, tram North. And let's say that this is going to be the South Line. So go there, go here, go here, and back, and back. Ankara Tram South. Now this seems to be an area where I can set up a depot with little difficulty. <clears throat> Just here. Two on each line. Ankara Tram North. Uh-oh. What can you not find? What have I forgotten to upgrade? There's always something. Yeah, here. And just those to be on the safe side. Can you leave now? Yeah, notification is gone. Anchor at Tram North, I think you were. And you two guys are south. Okay, time to set up the train. Let's see if we can supply Anchor with more people. Or rather, Quezon City, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, let's go for the news to Chinese type YZ22. 120 kph. Do I have a train that can even do that fast? Uh, no. I can do 115. That's exceptionally expensive. Length of the train, 147 meters, that's fine. <laughs> you can add more locomotives if you want to. Uh, it is expensive, however. If I want to get that power rating to good, so they accelerate faster, it's going to cost me 21 million. If I do it like that, that is. If I use these ones, I'm only paying 18 million. Uh, what does that even mean? Good. On flat, it's going to accelerate to 115 kph in 19 seconds or 1800 meters. 
Uh, is that good enough? What if I want excellent? Jeez, there's more locomotives than passenger cars on this line. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, it just doesn't want to go beyond good. But I'm not paying 61 million for a train. <laughs> that looks like that. I mean, it's a nice meme build, but aside from that, it's... No. doesn't look that good. Anyway, uh, more passengers. 105. This will do. This is Ankara Quezon City. Off you go. With all the signals that I have in place, this should not be a problem. Let's follow along with this train, see what it does. Yep, takes the, uh, this section to Quezon City. Game auto saves. Any day now, there we go. Speed's not bad. We're climbing up to 80. 81, 82. It's not that fast. Mediocre. Uh, it's going to do 115 in three minutes. Hmm. Do I really need to add another class SU? No, I would need to add two more in order to get a good power rating. Which means it's going to do it in 80 seconds. Otherwise in 101 or three minutes. So that's half. No, screw that. I think that's way too expensive. Okay, where are you now? They're going to Ankara. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, Ankara in itself is growing because the trams are now transporting people across town. The stop over here might at some point get pretty busy. Um, they're immediately building high residential buildings. And we have our first passenger. Welcome on this new train. You are our very first passenger. Half the champagne. Uh, stretch out, because it's going to be quite a trek. I'll have to look into those road vehicles at some point. I wonder if this is also going to be reciprocated. Yeah, there's a whole one passenger waiting to go to Ankara. Look at that. One whole passenger. Now... Ankara is a fairly big place. 354. So I wonder if this is also going to increase demand from Jeddah to New Quezon City. Not terribly much. 23. Okay, how much do I get for one passenger? One whole passenger. Maybe 15,000? Fifteen 15,000. Well, that was a pretty accurate estimation, wasn't it? So we're going to take six people back. That's 90. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more passengers to make this line profitable. See, that's what I'm talking about. 29 people. That's what I want to see. All right, uh, next episode, I'm going to try and connect Ankara to its food supply. And also Hangzhou. Because this one also needs food, albeit not a lot of it. But um, if I connect this town also to Ankara, and I mean most of the tracks has already been laid, I can just connect this up, have this grow, have that grow. And also connect Ankara to Shanyang. In which case, I have connected quite a lot of the towns in this map already. Um, and then come the more intricate connections. Because then I want to start providing them with the goods that they need. That's going to take a lot more episodes. So for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Um, aside from that, I hope that you're going to be joining me tomorrow on the next episode. And for now, have a good day and I'll catch you tomorrow.